Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am painting on this round canvas with some oil paints. I recently spotted this two pack of round canvases at my local Kmart and I could not help myself. I really, really, really wanted to draw something round on these round canvases. I just never seen anything like it before and I was so excited to do it. So when I think of round things, a few things come to mind. Pokeballs, donuts, pizza and I've been doing a lot of Pokemon art lately so I felt like it was time for me to do something different, something new, something delicious. So I decided I wanted to do a full painting of a pizza. I was probably really hungry at the time that I decided on what to draw but to be honest I really love doing food art. I'm really interested in how people can draw food so realistically that it looks delicious. It's funny because it doesn't even have to look that realistic to look really delicious, uh, especially in a lot of Studio Ghibli movies where they have like this really beautiful looking anime food. I just love art like that because it's really interesting to me how you can draw something that makes you really hungry. So I wanted to try that myself and see if I could draw something that would make people go, oh yum, I want to eat it but I can't because it's an artwork, not actual food. That's if you like pizza, but who doesn't like pizza? But yeah, I feel like I don't do a lot of food art on my channel, but uh, I kind of want to change that because it is something interesting and new for me to try. And yeah, food, I love food. <laughs> so anyways, I started off with a rough sketch and I just used a colored pencil for this and I kept it pretty vague in uh, details because I knew I was going over the top with my oil paints. Yes, there's an oil painting. These are water mixable oils. So as you can see in the first few layers, I'm actually mixing a bit of water in with them to thin them out. And this is so I can get a sort of thin base color for some areas, which later I can go over the top with thicker oil paint. And I just started with the base colors that you would see on a regular pizza. As you can see, there is a lot of red. This is because uh, pizza sauce is a tomato based sauce and you're going to have a lot of red underneath everything else. And I wanted to sort of work my layers up from the back to the front so that I could, you know, get in details here and there where I felt like it would look good. And then after this, I would go over the top with the cheese and then the toppings and then like herbs and spices and stuff over the top of that. I'm not a very experienced oil painter, but I feel like that's probably the way you would go about it. Well, it was the way that I felt it was easiest. So after I got those base colors down, as you can see, I used a bit of orange and brown and stuff in the crust area and I did some light shading. It doesn't look overly realistic yet, but I felt like with a few more layers and uh, details over the top, we can probably get it to a, a, a stage where it looks kind of realistic. I'm going for realistic looking in this artwork, but not necessarily photorealism because that's really hard and also I just really enjoy, you know, an illustrative look. I want my artwork to look like art and not like a photo, if that makes sense. No, no shame on people who do that though. That is amazing and it's really impressive, but it's not my kind of thing. So after that red layer was dry, I went over the top with a bunch of yellows. Now this is supposed to be like the cheese on the pizza because you can't have pizza without cheese. And for that I used a mixture of yellows and whites and a little bit of browns as well just to add a little bit of crispy cheesiness. And uh, yeah, after that I went in and I added some darker colors because I felt like it was a little bit too... Uh, boring there wasn't a lot of contrast and I wanted to push the contrast a little bit and make this look like a really delicious crispy pizza and uh, yeah I really like how once I added those dark reds into the areas that were the source it really did push the contrast quite a bit I also added some dark brown bits here and there around the outside where the crust is and that's because when you cook a pizza in like a wood fire oven kind of style you get those little crispy burnt bits on the edges and I love those parts on the pizza I just think it's so delicious I also mixed a little bit of paint into some linseed oil which gave me some really thin washes that I could use to help change the color and tone of some areas because I felt like I didn't want every part of the crust 
to be like the same kind of orange. I want some areas to be a little bit more yellow and some areas to be a little bit more brown. And just give a bit more variation in there to make it look a little bit more real. After this I went into the toppings and as you can see there's a bit of basil, there's a bit of pepperoni, there's a bit of cherry tomato, there's some mushrooms in there. It's a little bit of everything in this pizza and yes there is pineapple on it. I'm, I'm team pineapple on pizza, don't even at me. But the process for painting them was pretty simple and nothing fancy. I just went in with the block colours and then I added some shadows and highlights and blended it a little bit. I didn't want to keep it too intense though. I kind of wanted to just have those colours a little bit simple because we do have a lot of uh, shading and a lot of detail all over this pizza and I didn't want it to get too uh, sort of crazy. For the pepperoni I did mix a little bit of white and a little bit of orange into that red colour that I used for the pepperoni and then I added in the little white dots all over it. Uh, that was the sort of texture that I was looking at for pepperoni because it has those little fatty delicious parts in the pepperoni that I really wanted to capture. I also tried to have some of those highlights a little bit more on the pink side as well as some of them a little bit more on the orange side because I just want a little bit of a variance in tone in that part. Now this isn't the only oil painting I've been working on lately, I have also been working on another one at the same time and this one is a really exciting one that I'm not going to show you guys yet, it's for a future video but I'm just going to say it is for a collab with a certain person and I'm really excited so I can't wait to show you guys that. That oil painting is also quite a bit bigger and has taken me quite a bit longer to do but I'm super happy and yeah, I just wanted to give you that little, you know, spoiler sneak peek. So keep an eye out for that one. But yeah, now we're just finishing up this painting and I'm just adding a nice black outline around because obviously, you know, pizzas aren't perfectly circled so I didn't want to make the pizza completely to the edge of the page. That wouldn't look realistic. But anyways, here's the final results and I absolutely love this painting. I did do quite a lot on this and the paint's quite thick so I'm guessing it's going to take me quite a while to dry. But I love the results and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please smash like and subscribe and comment below in the comments if you like pizza and if so what is your favorite pizza topping I love a good pepperoni pizza but I can't help myself with anything that has chili on it because I I love chili and I love spice in my pizza as well so anyways thank you all so much for watching I hope you have a lovely day please stay safe and I will see you hopefully in my next video bye everyone